today I'm going to show you how to build a uh, cage dryer for those long spindle type blanks. Okay, I had an idea. Um, I've been turning a lot of blanks, round blanks, like this one. This is uh, about, I don't know, 30 inches or so. And um, it's oak. The oak dries fast and it even it splits. I had this in some uh, shavings. Well, what I thought I'd do is uh, make a cylinder and uh, I could put a couple blanks in it and fill it up with uh, with shavings. Probably what I'll do is make a, a couple of them in a couple different sizes. So I thought I'd do a quick video if you're interested in seeing how something like this might work. I think this is an 8 inch circle I cut out on the bandsaw. This is some old screen I had. All I'm going to do is take and wrap the screen around the bottom, staple it, and uh, I got one for the top, and I'll probably have to put a piece down the side, I don't know. Anyway, this be a quick video, and it, uh, um, it's akin to the... Uh, Paper bag and shavings method of drying things. The thing is, I just, I, it's just taking. I, these things are really wet, and I don't want to have to fill all of them with epoxy. I think my hose leaks. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. I might have to cut the audio off. It's not the one I want. Okay, what I'm doing is taking my 8-inch uh, uh, plywood uh, circle that I cut out, stapling the screen around it so I can create a uh, tube um, a column, a drying tube in essence is what I'm trying to do. It's uh, aluminum wire from a uh, an old window. And I'm basically going to put my wood blanks inside of this and uh, fill it with um, sawdust and shavings. I just uh, thought I'd share the process. And please excuse the, the mess. Still waiting for my uh, garage roof. Now this is the top part. It's basically another 8 inch ring with a hole cut in the center of it. And it's basically just to give the screen some stability. I just used all materials I had laying around. It doesn't have to look pretty to work. And uh, um, what I plan to do is is make a handful of these because I, I like making round blanks because I use them for a lot of different things. Um, if you read the article, there should be a link in the video to the article someplace. Anyway, I, I uh, anything from rolling pins, um, um, tool blanks, vases. One thing I discovered that I need to do is I need to seal the ends. I can't believe I didn't do that. Um, well, basic thing for whatever reason. You lose and more moisture and get more cracks when the ends are exposed. So I just I'm trimming the uh, screen stands up pretty much by itself I actually ended up putting a couple one bys in there to keep it keep it up but that's how it's gonna go okay and what I did at this point is um, I added a couple uprights as you can see uh, circled and pointed in red uh, to give this 
uh, a tube a little bit more stability. Um, typically what I do is uh, uh, just set my blanks out to dry my round blanks. There's a piece of oak. It's actually a, a double fish batter. Um, you can see how bad it cracked. And uh, some of the wood I use does, hasn't been cracking at all when I uh, turn a round blank and some of it just goes crazy. Um, so basically what I needed to do was something to uh, um, check this process. Uh, I got another piece in my hand. I think that's a piece of ash and uh, it's got some small cracks. Now I can go ahead and fill these with epoxy and uh, um, coffee grounds, sawdust, shavings, uh, or colored epoxy, uh, all nine yards, whatever, uh, whatever works. Uh, and still use those, but I, I really would like to just be able to dry them, stick them on the lathe, and, and turn the project. There's a piece of uh, hickory I uh, cut out of a tree in a pretty interesting way. I may explain later. Um, and that's a piece of oak. It's got a little crack in it already. It's a long one. And I just turned these. these this is a piece of cherry. I'm going to put all these in the uh, drying uh, uh, chamber or I don't even know what to call this thing and hopefully what I'll do is slow down the drying process one mistake I made when I I, I did this video is I put these in and I didn't seal the ends um, so uh, here I am going to throw a little sawdust in the bottom and pop the first piece in And we will go from there. I was kind of surprised at the amount of dust that came out of the uh, screen as I was putting uh, the shavings and sawdust in. Uh, that piece just barely fits. But it probably could hold five, maybe even six um, blanks. But uh, I'm going to leave them in there for about... Uh, I'll probably get anxious in, in, in a week or so, pour them out and, and lay them. But I am going to have to go back and seal those ends because I, I've got a feeling that uh, um, they're going to dry too fast. And what I might even do is, uh, I typically I just paint them or use anchor seal. Um, what I think I'm going to do is uh, try some wax. I really don't want these to crack. Um, it would be so nice to have a, a, a nice tool blank or uh, bat blank, billy bat, billy clubs. I, I'm making a bunch of these um, clubs for fish bats. Uh, and uh, I just would like to be able to take some time to turn it and not have to mess around with filling it with epoxy and CA or, or whatever. So hopefully this works, and if it works, I'll make a bunch of these, and uh, I'll just have them laying around. When I get a chance, I'll do enough, and I'll turn some blanks, and I'll throw them in the old drying chamber. So that was my uh, reason uh, for making this. And you can make them taller, shorter, whatever suits your needs. I'll probably make some short ones. So I appreciate uh, the fact that you're taking time to watch this, but I hope it also uh, will help you out and if you need to dry some long type long spindle um, blank type objects that uh, you'll give this a, a whirl. Thanks for watching.